Brandon, host for West Virginia Capital Radio. And today's episode is going to be brought to you by our friends over at Tabletop Loot. Awesome dice, shirts, mugs, and other loot for your tabletop role-playing experiences. Just enter code MAELSTROM at checkout for 10% off your order. And now, for a quick message from our sponsor. You know, there's nothing better than the first sip of an ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Available in 12 delicious flavors, Nuka-Cola is the best drink on either side of the Mississippi. But you already know that. What you might not know is that we here at the Nuka-Cola Corporation have got something special in the works. No, it's not a new flavor, it's even better. An amusement park like nothing you've ever seen before. Full of rides and games and even... A secret scavenger hunt with a -a one-of-a-kind prize. Come, meet Cappy and Bottle and the rest of the Nuka crew. Book your tickets for Nuka World today.
our American way of life is a testament to the greatness of our country. Peace, freedom, and mom's apple pie. It seems almost perfect, but what if your future is not as secure as you think? Where will you be when the atomic bombs fall? Act now and you and your family can wait out the horrors of a nuclear apocalypse in a state-of-the-art subterranean vault from the all-American company vault Tech, Filled with top-of-the-line technology and all the amenities you could ever hope for, you won't notice the years slip by as you wait out the radiation with your closest friends and family. Call now and secure yourself not just a future, but a brighter future underground.
guys. <laughs> All right, we live. Woo! Woo! Yeah. So terrible things were we talking about? Um, I don't know if it was that terrible this time. I mean, compared to some of the other things. You compared said, to some of the other times <laughs> before we go live. It was, it was pretty it was mild fair. this time. Yeah. I mean, we weren't going over the logistics of, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the logistics of... Animalism? Farms. Or... Animal Farms? I, I mean, the Animal Farms was fine. It's a great book. But, eh. uh... It's debatable. Okay, it's okay. It's a fun book. I enjoy it. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> I, I mean, I would. Yeah. I mean, point. So what happened last time, guys? Um, last time, uh, I fixed a car with uh, Maxwell's help. Thank you. Um, Maxwell drove a car and died like ten times. <laughs> I think it was like three. It was like no, because it wasn't. It was be it was like seven because it was like the f it was like foreshadowing question mark, and then it went up to like six question shadowing question mark. <laughs> I mean, it's I no, it was like f it was like six it was three times. It was up there. Because, because I was already died a bunch of times in past, which is why six shadowing. Okay, so it was but you still died a to... bunch. Yes. <laughs> and you kept yeah, coming I mean, back and, not... ro and rolling I like twos. I was the best tank. You were. <laughs> and you kept rolling like twos on your attack rolls and <laughs> missing the guy directly in front of you with a shotgun. <laughs> I, I shaved the top of the car off by... <laughs> it was... It was an event. Um, and then... But we did I kill did... the raiders. Um, and and then he really well on everything that wasn't combat. He, except for when you tried fix getting the car unstuck and like rammed it into a tree. Yeah. I. Well, but besides that, you did roll really well. On, on his uh, on his behalf, he was unconscious when he wrecked the car. So. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. That was the first yeah. time. Yeah. Um, and then Very we angry. did we rig the car to be. Yep. An explosive, and then push it into the middle of a town? Uh, yes. <laughs> did. I mean, we should have maybe made sure there wasn't people in that town. That's why oh, we well. have a detonator, not a timer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That you gave me the control of, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I don't remember giving you anything. I think you made it. I did make it. it and took the and and took the detonator. Yeah. Yeah, and you kept yeah. it. <laughs> Middle. Um, but so we are at this town um, where we believe the uh, overseer is at, um, hoping to stop them before they set off a giant. Uh, doom bomb that will explode everything and make it green. Terraforming with rads. Like, hi, like emphasis on that question mark. I mean, Maxwell wants to have a nice civil discussion with him about the house and and what's beforehand. Preferably before we like destroy his brain with mm. copious <laughs> amount, copious amounts of lead and energy. Yes. Though, I mean, honestly, with the way I'm shooting, it would be great if I was, like, just distracting him by talking to him, appealing to his ego, and then you just shoot him horribly, because you'll actually hit. Maybe. So Unless I, I roll a one and headshot you. So we're, like, I... we're likening this Gek to, like, uh, you guys have seen Star Trek Genesis, I want to say the name of it is. I think so. Oh, is that... I, I remember the, the search the... Spock. <sighs> yeah. Exactly. Uh Yeah. 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 Cuz yep. the, the cuz doesn't Spock come back because of that whole thing? Spoilers, man. Dude, that's like 30 years. <laughs> <or, laughs> is that like 30 years ago or is that like 40 now? That might I be like know. 
40 years? I probably wasn't that. alive at the time. I'm sure there's one person out there who has not seen that movie yet. <laughs> and they're I'm sorry. just distraught now. Just watch Wrath of Khan, okay? It's worth it. They had a plan for the New Year's to watch every one of them. And just... <laughs> you ruined it! <laughs> Hey, they can Way watch go. everything up until that point. All they have is spoilers as Spock dies and comes back. Instead of watching that, watch the gamers. Do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a good with, movie. with a random subtitle. I haven't actually watched that movie. You should watch it. It's good. You should I was just getting it. spoilers from that conversation. It's literally you. on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think For free. Not like they're yeah. pay to watch movie. Like, Completely free. The second and, one's on there too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which is the most but, popular one. Yeah. Anywho, you guys are standing outside this town, um, slightly up on a hill. Uh, you have pushed the vehicle down, and it's slowly careened its way towards the middle of this, like, we'll call it a town, it's not really a city. Um, don't see anybody come out, you don't see any reactions. What, are you what, to do? what kind of buildings are there here? Like, is there any, as a science person, um, is there any building that jumps out at me as like, this would be a good place to set up base? Most of the uh, buildings are of a older brick construction. So um, uh, the town has been around for a while. It looks like, um, not barring the fact that it's 200 years in the future, but... Um, for the most part, the buildings aren't in terrible shape. Definitely, okay. there is some missing parts to some of them. Um, More important question here. Yes. We, we, we read on the setup for this, now it take approximately three hours to set up. Yes. I take it part of that setup might be tapping into the local power grid? Potentially. Possibly. Potentially. In which case, what looks like it might serve as a hub or have, like, intact... Where is their utilities building? Right. Um, the utilities building looks like it's on the other side of this town of where you're standing at. Um, you do see the main uh, power grid <laughs> station on that side. Okay, so now we're going to actually no. do this. I no. feel it. <laughs> yep. So it's just like... <laughs> you just watch Maxwell, like, dip into his bag and start pulling out, like, frothing stuff. One he just, like, injects straight into his heart, which is the, like, gone hand tosses that aside, pulls out a vial of something bubbling brown and frothing, and chugs it, and then, like, adjusts, like, his little pip ghoul, the, the refurbished stealth ghoul thing. Stealth ghoul. Does something, <laughs> and he shimmers, and it's long stride. And he's just like, I'll see you over at the utilities building. You can go watch over the cars and slowly descends. Bye! <laughs> and he's just gone. Gone with the power of what did we calculate that speed out to? <laughs> really fast. Um. Okay, um, Isaac. So you watch uh, Maxwell just start to <laughs> inject and imbibe things into him, um, and suddenly, almost in a blur of speed, he is down the hill, running towards the center of the town. Uh, yeah, we'll assume what I actually said to you just rapidly got faster yep. as I injected yep. more in. Um, well, Isaac is going to... How far away is it about? Like uh, To the edge of the city itself, um, you're looking at... You're probably roughly 100 yards away at this point. Okay. Um, from the close end? Yeah, from where the, the town proper really begins. Okay, okay. Um, um, yeah. And how f like far across is this to okay. the uh, utilities building? To the utilities building, okay. So, like I said, it's on the opposite side of the city itself. Um, we're looking probably, it's it's a really small town. Um, okay. It's maybe three blocks away. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, then I am going to um, pull out my uh, 357 and I'm going to attempt this stealthily. <laughs> Move my way over there, keeping to buildings. Um, attempting to go to the ones that aren't, like, don't look important. Um, the ones that are, like, the least sturdy. 
so that there'll be the less chance of me like accidentally bumping into the overseer if they happen to be out and about. Absolutely. Do you want to go make um, your some stealth checks as you approach? Sure. How many would you like? Um, just, I, just give me a couple. Okay. Can I give him advantage because I'm so noticeable being basically the roadrunner? Mm, I uh, think that three. actually would be fair. Ah, right. oh, heck yeah. <laughs> um, so that's going to be 16 for the first one. Okay. And then a natural 20 for the second one. Okay. Want me to do another one? No, you're fine. Um, you've okay. reached the edge of the town for the time being. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I'll just move from building to building, uh, making my way towards the utilities building, keeping an eye mm -hmm. um, out like every time that I stop at a building, it's check around, make sure nobody's seen me, make sure I don't see anybody, then move. Excellent. Um, okay, Arlie, um, <laughs> you have poured uh, into the town, um, all, all jetted and psychoed up. I am assuming, but um, uh, I have not actually used the 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 psycho or the other one because I had the gone ham and using. Uh, yeah. yeah, waiting on those. Uh, you can't use all my drugs at once. I <laughs> can't use them all at once. Are you rushing towards where the uh, the car was? Yeah. Uh, no. Going technical. I'm technically just heading towards the utilities building. Okay. I figure I'll make like a check on the way there. I figure if someone goes and pokes their head towards it, I'll probably zip by them in a blur of speed, and hopefully I'll be moving so fast they won't actually realize what the fuck I am because I clearly can't be a human. It okay. could be a really fast ghoul. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's 20 days later now. So you, you passed the vehicle about um, a block and a half before you get to the utilities building. Let's see here if anything happens. If somebody noticed you, you have no idea at this point. Um, okay. So there's no motion I'm going to press on. Grabs explosive. Puts explosive in <laughs> duster. Zips towards the utility building. Okay. Because I had this hunch that, you know, it would be neat if there was anyone that, like, came out immediately to check the car. But if they didn't. Which, to be fair, I mean, I caught up to the car pretty quick. Yeah, you did. Um... He might be too busy in the utility building to set up, you know, his doomsday device. It's fair. I would be very busy setting up a doomsday device if I had one. I know. I definitely was. I mean. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, Adam, so, I would yeah. say you probably watch uh, Maxwell stop at the car and uh, open the door and rummage inside of it. <sighs> and then okay. he just zooms Beep. again. And he's just going to sit there by the utilities building, but he's not going to open it. He's just sitting there, like, in front of the door, bobbing his head and just jittering at this point. Okay, why don't you can give me a perception check. And I'm giving this to you because you're all jacked up on Mountain Dew right now. <laughs> Gamer fuel! Gamer fuel. Okay, I actually rolled well for once. I, I generally roll well on non combat. Eighteen. Eighteen. Um, you rush up to the to the building and uh, stand there shakily, um, observing the outside. Um, when your eyes suddenly dart up to the second floor of this structure, uh, on the ledge you see a couple turrets, and you hear the little D -d 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 as it's caught in motion, and they begin to swing towards your direction. I will give you a round to react to this before they uh, unleash hell upon you. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just gonna like skirt around the to like <laughs> around the corner and then go back to twitching. <laughs> okay. And he's just like waiting for for Isaac to at least get invisibility. <laughs> Because uh, he can't see Isaac either, who not 20 or so, so he's like, Isaac will show up eventually, and this maybe is true. shot. <laughs> this is true. Um, I am a shadow. Uh, I am a shadow. Arlie, when you turn the corner, you hear another... <laughs> 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 
Um, Isaac. Okay. Do I notice anything like that? Like, do I see the turrets at all in the windows? Um, tell you what, give me a perception check. See if you can see them light up. Uh, boy, howdy. Um, oh, 15. 15. 15 is enough. Uh, you, okay. uh, when they, when they first light up, um, you see their targeting system, which are laser operated. Um, mm -hmm. you see them start to swing in the direction you know you saw Arnie run to, um, mm -hmm. before him disappearing around the corner of the building. Um, uh. they follow, of course, as he's running, but, um, <laughs> he was too quick for them before they, uh, targeted on him. I'm gonna break the turrets, just run laps around the building where the servo is. Let's see something here. Um, okay. How close have I, have I been able to get to them? Uh, you're moving fairly stealthily, so you're not moving at a quick pace at the time. Okay. Um, you made it maybe a block into the city itself. Okay. So you're a couple blocks away at this rate. Okay. Um... I'm going to pull out the hunting rifle, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to take aim. I'm not going to fire until they fire, Okay. just because I'm. Isaac is hoping that if Maxwell can get away mm -hmm. in time, they may think that it was just like wildlife or something. Gotcha. So, um, but yeah, he has uh, his... Um, rifle trained and is just waiting. Okay. Um, in terms of feetage, we'll say um, the average block is about 200 feet. Okay. So you're a ways away still, but uh, mm -hmm. you do keep it um, Let's see. Jesus Christ. I can oh, yeah. The um, entire city block in a turn. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna move up a little bit, like I'm move my movement, um, forward. Okay. Um, I will start by using my bonus action to hide. Excellent. And that is going to be a fourteen. Fourteen. Excellent. And then, I'll move forward, get behind some cover, um, and just have it trained on them. I'm you know, way out of range, but. Derelict city. You find a cardboard box. That's where the net twenty came from. So, snake. You take to um, the structures around you, trying to blend in. Um, Arlie, um, you and I are going to need to roll initiative here. Oh boy! Don't you get advantage for being like hopped up on drugs? I think so. I think or a bonus. Took. Uh... <laughs> I lost track. I took so many. I took so many drugs, man. <laughs> uh, I have haste. Which... Uh, does haste, the normal haste, give advantage on... No. I don't think so. I don't believe it does. Okay. Still fine. <sighs> no, it because does not. Because altogether, I still got an 18. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so you round the corner, you hear this turret catch, um, catch your motion, but uh, you are quick enough to react first. Okay, he continues to dash around the building. <laughs> He's basically now just going to outright try and like run laps around the building to try and find like where there's doors, windows, or anything. Okay. Or um, not turrets. Or not turrets. turrets. Um, I mean anything. What is your average movement right now? Uh, my base movement, if I... 120. 120. <laughs> so you can get... <laughs> Three dash. I'm the... sorry, two dash actions beyond the first move. Okay. Um, the question is here is, do you want to... No, never mind. I'm not even going to ask that. That's a dumb question. Um, you can get around to the back side of the building with your, your base movement this round, if you wish. Um, it's about close. It's about 100 feet. Um. Yeah. From one side to the other. Um, it's a fairly large building in comparison. Um, you immediately hear. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> there are several windows along the way. Um, I guess as I'm passing them, I'm seeing if there's turrets behind them. Uh, you can make me a perception. 
Uh, and that is a 15. 15. Okay, with your 15, uh, you do not see any turrets resting behind the windows themselves. Um, you do see a faint glow though, behind it as if uh, there is power, of course, within the power structure. Um, but it's something is active in there for the time being. Not sure what, but you okay. do see that. Okay, okay. We're, we're gonna... We're gonna do plan dumbass here. Uh... Oh no. Oh, it's it's fine. Oh no. Oh, uh, it's fine. It's gonna be very stealthy, actually. Oh no! He's gonna blow it up! <laughs> I was tempted, but no. Uh, <laughs> he reaches into his thing. Mm -hmm. Acid. It takes max damage automatically since it's an inanimate object. Okay. Which is 12 damage of acid damage to, like, essentially the window. And then I'm going to dive through. You do know that windows don't melt with acid, right? I mean, I could do it to essentially the window so I just pop it out. Okay. And actually, so, use move action. Would I have like a tiny bit of movement left over to like essentially stop in front of a window use two things of acid to just basically destroy the frame and then just poke it inwards catch it and just sit there inside the building um let's see uh throwing a vial is an action um but i have extra actions while hasted yes i understand um I think it was going to take you an action to throw a vial, and it's going to take you an action to uh, pop the window in. Um, okay. So I would let you do that. Okay. Sweet. Uh, you, your, your acid definitely has no issue chewing through this old brickwork from who knows how long ago. Um, going to give me a s athletics check. We'll do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go, fam. This is where Come I on, fuck muscle up. man. <laughs> this is where I fuck up stuff. Nat 20. Nice! <laughs> All right. Excellent. Um, not only do you push the window in, you actually push it in fairly quietly. Um, the, 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 the rock doesn't even grind that much. Um, I guess the way that you placed your acid was perfect. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you, you grab it at the instant. It's, it, it, you're, you're right on it. And you are going to take a step inside the building, you said? Yep. Okay. And then you should carefully set down the window and hope there isn't, like, a mine. Oh, yeah. You know, he looks straight down before stepping in in case there's, like, I don't know, a Claymore mine there. <laughs> there, are that, there are five. There are five. There's at least ten. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, so it's a painless death. Right. Um. They're all aimed at your kneecaps. <laughs> What you see is sort of a, uh, I want to say some sort of office. Um, looks like an old utility office. Most of the things inside are, of course, you know, um, rotted with age or um, falling apart completely. Um, you see what just is an overhead light it appears it's just on, um, but nothing other than that. Uh, there's a door uh, to your be directly in front of you, which would be off to the west. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I, I'm out of move, essentially, for this turn, so I guess I shoot all my thumbs and wait for for, uh, our, our wonderful scientist, si extra science bro, and figure out how I signal to him that I made an entrance building without setting off the turrets! I have no idea where you are. No I know! Idea. No idea. Um, so, Adam, um, mm -hmm. what are you going to be doing? Uh, I'm going to be slowly moving. I'm going to basically just keep doing what I was doing. Okay. Um, stealthing forward, eyes on the building, um, ending each turn, holding my action, aiming at the building. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's tell you what's going to throw you in the initiative order, just in case. Eight. Nice. Uh, let's see what exactly. Uh, so eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, so you yep. tied with Arlie. Um, what's your dex mod? So we're tied. Yep. Who's, got, who's got the better tied. luck? 
I have plus one. Yeah, he has better luck. All right. Um. So yeah, I will. Uh. Bonus action. Hide. Um. Uh, for fifteen. Excellent. Uh. Move forward. Hold action. Okay. Move forward last round. So we were looking at da, 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 about 100 and 300 feet, 320 feet away, I want to say. I, Math's hard. It really <laughs> is. I, I don't remember what the original number is, so it's even harder for me. Yeah. Just take the drugs I offer. <laughs> Just take the drugs I offer. You, didn't, you <laughs> literally gave me no drugs. I this offered is... you the brown stuff last time, and you're like, nah, man. I'm like, no. no. You never take the brown stuff. And this is why. <laughs> okay. Um, Maxwell's oh. going to have a heart attack in that building when he comes down from this, and I'm just going to find his corpse. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Um, I guess I, I'm going to check around the first floor. Okay. I, I mean, first off, I should... Yeah, it, it, I guess I'm going to do scouting, sort of carefully open doors in case of turrets, and then see if I can... I figure if I can open, like, a window on each floor, we'll probably be fine. Okay. I mean, even even if I, can, I I never actually find my my fellow scientist bro, as long as he has enough points of, of like, entry, it'll be fine. We'll catch up okay. while I'm being a petty bad vandal. So you're, so you're opening door and stepping outside. Is that correct? That, no, no, no. I'm like going in through the building. Mm -hmm. I'm checking through the building, and I'm going to just see if <coughs> first off, if there's turrets on the floor I'm on, and secondly, I'm going to melt another one of the windows on a different side of the building in the hopes that, you know, if I melt enough windows, one of them will be noticeable. So I'll be like, oh, there's a way in. I'll just sneak in, and then I'll, you know, hear someone trip over a window or something and be like, oh, he's in here with me and hopefully not a serial killer. You won't hear anything. I am stealthy. Yeah, I know Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. Okay, like I said, you, you popped into what looks to be some sort of um, office. Um, and there is a yeah. door to your west that you're going to have to go is through. Is it just, like, one door? Just one door. <laughs> okay, um... Get, well, what's the walls look like, by the way? Uh, they look like old... Uh, I can't think of these words today. Can I just, like, acid through the wall instead of the door that might be trapped or alarmed? You can try to, yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. Nice, <laughs> nice distance back from it in case there's explosives on the other side or something, because okay. I have a huge amount of paranoia, because this mad scientist... So you, a lair. you have the wall to the north, you have the wall to the west that has the door, and you have I'm the wall to like the south. I'm doing it, like, right adjacent to the door. Excellent. Okay. Because in case there's, like, a turret behind the door, I can step behind the door's cover. Yeah, this is true. But it's in case the door itself is trapped, because you don't tend to trap the wall, you trap the door. Okay, so you burn a hole through it. Um, what you see... Or through the wall, I'm sorry. And what you see is, it looks to be there's a hallway beyond, um, stretching off to the north and to the south. Um, do not see anything in the hallway itself uh, from this vantage point that you're at right now. You know, like, go up to the hole in the wall, making sure to look up in case of cameras. Looking for the little red dots of a camera active, maybe. Okay. Well, thanks for the bits, Brax. I appreciate it, brother. Um... So you take a look outside, um, poke your head out to the hallway. Um, to the south, you see a you see and are greeted by um, the laser scope of a turret, uh, which instantly catches your forehead. Um, to the north, um, as you take a quick cursory glance, uh, you see a same thing, um, and that the uh, the hallway has um, doors north of you, south of you, and it seems to curve to the north as well. Uh, but there is a turret at the other end of either end of the hallway. Okay, so both ends of the hallway are a horrible death trap. So, you know, Master just like pulls the head back like, fuck that. Mm -hmm. Acid across the hallway <laughs> at the other wall. Okay. Just dash through next turn, but it's just like, nah, he just 
stage out of the way of those and just acids. Okay, so you throw the acid, um, and it looks like it burns into some sort of reception area. Oh, groovy. Um, but you don't see anything currently where you're at um, from your vantage point. And that would be the end of your turn, um, Adam. Uh, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Uh, so um, that is going to be a, a five for myself this time. Okay. Um, but I'm still like 300 feet away. Yeah, you're, you're like 290 feet away at this point still. I'm just picturing you like stumbling into a trash can and then like hiding behind the lid. No, it. what it is is it's basically the Emperor's <laughs> New Groove. I'm being Kronk going through, and that, that five is when he, like, st puts himself up against the wall and the two people walk by. <laughs> That's funny. Um, But, yeah, no, um... Do they, like... Do they seem to be settling down a little bit? Or uh, can I not see that? Because it's, like, three... I, I, I'm basically a football field. Right. Away from these guys, so I can't really, like... You can't, like, tell great details about them, yeah. of course, but um, you do know that they have that laser targeting, and you do not see any of the lighting currently upon them, which would be pretty visible, I would think, from yeah. this distance. Oh, yeah. Um, I will um, use my action to move, then, this time. Excellent. I mean, just tr close up the distance a little bit. Okay. Two sixty. See you in a bit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Arlie. Yep. What are you doing? Okay. And like, pause a second, and then he dive rolls dramatically from like where he is over towards like the hole into the reception area he made past the two turns pointed at each other. Okay, and he's um, hoping that can you give me oh an god. acrobatics check. <laughs> oh god. Right into the wall. Right in the wall. <laughs> and then the two turrets just unload on you and I can't save you <laughs> and you have the detonator. Uh I mean I got a ten. Yep. A ten, huh? Wait, no. Uh a Wait, yes, a 10. 10? Yep. Yep. Okay. I wish haste gave you advantage on acrobatics or dex rolls. I think he gave you on dexterity saving throws, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's, that's not this, though. No, well, no. At least you have another action to get yourself up off the floor. Well, I do. You don't crash into anything. Um, <laughs> Dang it. Your, your wish to just roll through the other side isn't quite what you thought it would be. It's not exactly like a nice, clean opening. Um, so you sort of halt in the hallway as it is. Um, so let's okay. say half your movement was probably burned. He, like, very, like, quickly scuttle walks, like, on his stomach after that. Okay. It was just like the... Okay. So you enter into a reception area, um, which you see is one large, uh, one counter, which is sort of got the, the plexiglass around the edges of it. Um, looks to be like some sort of maybe bill paying center or something at one point. Um, um, a few chairs, they're mostly fallen over uh, in the lobby itself. Um, and of course you see a couple more turrets. Um, looks like they're pointed toward the main entrance to the building itself, um, but I've quickly found sight upon you. Uh, during the time where they're starting to swivel towards me, I toss an acid thing towards the little reception boost, mm -hmm. and I'm scuttling towards that new hole! Okay. And since I, I can use the... T uh, half my mood. I could probably toss two acid things to make a nice little hole through, like, the side of the reception and scurry through and then hide underneath, like the desk, right? Well, the thing is, is you used an action to uh, make this little acrobatic move. Um, okay. So, you do have an action. You could throw another vial if you want with your haste. Oh, yeah. But... I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that, and I should be able to make it behind the desk with my haste and everything, right? Most likely. Um, give me a yeah. damage roll for that. 
uh, damage you inanimate do to ad object. Mm -hmm. As long as it's an object, it just always deals well damage. Maximum. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you burn a hole through it. It deals Maxwell damage. Maxwell <laughs> damage. I mean, in theory, it means I could sit there and snipe at the turrets. In theory. That is a thing you could do. Yeah, because they're not creatures, so I can actually just throw turrets at them all day. This is how we power level. <laughs> Kill all the turrets in the building! Okay, so, um... That will be the end of your turn. Um, you scuttle behind this perception desk. You see a um, looks like a door to um, on the north wall. Um, Thank God, I was expecting you see a bigger turret. <laughs> not yet. Um, Surrounded by mines that are pointed at you. Guarded. That would be the trap I would make. You know, a little a bunch of dinky turrets, obvious cover, and behind it's just explosives. I like that idea. I know, right? <laughs> the first rule when playing games is never give the DM ideas. Just saying. Um, I mean, if you do this again, it just means it'll probably be someone else suffering through this. Okay, uh, Mr. Uh, Maxwell. Not Maxwell, I'm sorry, Isaac. Um, second verse, same as the first. <laughs> a little bit louder, a little bit worse. Yep. Okay. In heaven, there is no beer. Wait, you actually um, rolled a five or under? Oh, no. I just meant that I was going to do the same thing. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I rolled higher. I got a ten this time. Mm. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I will move um, my movement. Uh, as long as they don't seem to be noticing me, I will move the rest of them my movement for my action. Okay, so you move another 60 feet towards closer to the building. Yep. Um, you're roughly 200 feet away. Um, and I guess that's going to race back to Arlie once again. I can actually hit them now. You can. Not that I'm going to. Uh, so, like, do the turrets look like they are connected to anything, or like they have their own respective power sources? Well, you don't see them connected to anything, now. By my understanding of technology, sciencey bits, is it likely there's anything that would alert him if they went offline? Don't really know. Uh, it's there's different sorts of programming protocols. The only thing you can really tell is it looks like they're probably wireless, wirelessly controlled. Okay, they do seem automatic at least. Absolutely. So it will automatically fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to a check around the desk, see if there's any sort of key cards or anything that I might be able to use to just help get through the building a bit more efficiently okay. without burning holes through every single fucking door I come across. And then I guess I'm gonna try. I, I mean, first off, I guess I should probably roll a. What perception for that? Uh, an investigation. If you're just gonna do like a, if you're gonna do like a quick look through, make a perception. If you're looking in depth, looking for something particular. Ah, look in depth. Uh, da, 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 da. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um, in your search, you do not find any sort of key cards. Um. Mostly what you find are, it looks like, maybe some old bills, some old paper bills that were never collected upon. Um, nothing of real interest here. It's just an office setting. So. Okay, and I stuff pencils. my pocket full of the bills in case I need kindling for the post-apocalypse. I don't know. Okay. You never I'll know when you need kindling. I'll probably do something horrible with it, let's be fair. Likely. Okay. Um, and then I guess I'm going to. You said there's a door behind the desk. There is a door behind the desk, going to the north. Does this loop to where I think a turret would be, or past it? Um, with its proximity to where you just came through, um, you don't believe it's going to intersect the same hallway. There's probably okay. a room between it, at least. Sort of crack a door open and. Now you get to make me that dexterity saving throw. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, this is how we do it. Well, on the bright side, this I got a 17. Die. A 17? Okay, you will succeed your check. Okay, I can I can my successful check be closing the door back again when I hear the beep? Um, unfortunately, no. Um, the uh, door shatters as an explosive goes off. Um, but you are quick enough to dodge to the side, um, only taking fifteen points of piercing damage as the shrapnel explodes. How much? How much damage? Fifteen. Wow. Are you dead again? No. Okay, I'm, good. I'm pretty hurt, but I'm not dead. Do you have any healing? Yes. I okay, do. good. I have like. You have your uh, drugs. I have four stim packs and then two super stim packs, and then also regenerate. So I'm just gonna like stim pack myself, and that heals how much? Uh, Actually, I don't even need to stim pack myself. I'm going to use a healing draught. Two d eight. Easier. Much easier. Doesn't use a stim pack that I can use to revive your ass. Like you'll be the one needing reviving. Let's be fair. It'll be me. Let's be fair. Okay. I am at 17 on 26 after taking that healing nice. draught. And. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I'll poke my head out of the now whole evaporated door and just check the hallway, but not move from my safe spot for a bit. Okay. Um. The hallway that you uh, put your head out to looks like it's going into, um, not really a hallway per se, but it's more of a, um, a break room, I think it's the word I want to use. Um, seems to be where folks would go to have their, uh, their little cafeteria breaks uh, during work. Um, a few long tables, um, an old television in the corner, and... Uh, yeah, okay. Looks like there is a uh, door to the north as well. I'm going to... It's like one of those doors that, like, yeah, there's no handle. It just kind of flips on its own. It's spring-loaded. Yeah. I guess, is there, like, a couch in there? Uh, there is no couch. There's chairs and there's tables to sit at, but... Yeah, okay. Actually, Build a so fort. Like, scuttles into there, goes to a chair, and then sits down to, like, eat the death claw heart and recuperate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you're immune to radiation. <laughs> yeah. Look, man, I need a snack. I, I've been wounded. Look, <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> um. Nothing like a brush with death to like get the old appetite up. Adam, why don't you gonna make me a uh, perception check too while you're at it? Awesome. I hear nothing. You hear nothing. Okay. I rolled a one. Okay, so you never did not hear the explosion as it goes off, but it is your turn. All right, uh, bonus action. Oop. Okay, we're not using that dice. Bonus action to hide, and that is going to be a sixteen this time. Excellent. Uh, and I will move forward. Uh, action for movement. As long as there's no response to me moving, action. Mm. Okay. Moving forward. Okay. So close another sixty. All right, so you are 140 feet away. Okay. Um, your knowledge of these sort of machinery, you realize that you're getting very close to its active range of probably about 100 feet. Okay. So that will be your turn. Um, Arlie. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I acid the wall beside the door because lesson learned I was right the first time. <laughs> I, I mean, they did the me thing of like, oh, egress, but the door behind the safe spot is trapped. Like, internally, I applaud this motherfucker. <laughs> also, internally, I'm bleeding. Yeah, there's that. You are. Um, so yeah. You know, Maxwell, like, finishes wolfing down this heart in, you know, child on too much Kool-Aid speed, and then <laughs> acids the wall, and goes to poke his head out and see how deadly this hallway is. Okay. <clears throat> so deadly. So deadly. How many rounds is your... Um... The haste lasts an hour. An hour, okay. Uh, the long strider lasts an hour, and the brown potion, I can use a bonus action to just keep up. Okay. 
so we will remember that. Uh, you uh, sort of just push the door open, and there's not really a, a door hand. Well, not push the door. Open. You use the acid. I'm sorry. How many of those vials do you have? Uh, I can just use them as an action. You just reach into your. I just can keep using them. <laughs> okay. Make sure we have like a infinite supply of these things. Essentially. Um, Okay, so uh, it's not as bad as the Thunder Cannon, which does horrendous amounts of damage. I was like, nope, I'm not, because I'd be doing like 3d6 damage constantly. Okay, um, you the hole you burn, you see that there is a hallway that's going east to west. Um, which direction do you want to look down first? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll look east. Okay. Uh, you look to the east, and there is a turret, of course, um, about <laughs> 20 feet down. Um, it's currently pointed south because it looks like the hallway extends south after that. Um, to your west, you appears to be some sort of... Um, there's a stairwell. Um, there's a single door going into it, um, surrounded in brick. Um if you take a look within the glass, it's hard to see because of, of age and, and dirt, but uh, it appears it's going down. Um, you don't see any upward stairs. Would down probably be where the stuff we're looking for is? Most likely. Okay. Um, Definitely where the power grid of the building would be. <laughs> I'm actually like pausing. He's like, okay, I think I found where I need to go. I should probably find Isaac. He's the better shot at us, too. Uh, wait, how do I find Isaac? Oh, God, how do I find Isaac? <laughs> uh, the reception this area... This was a well-thought-out plan. It the was. reception area leads to the front door, right? It does. Okay, so Isaac backtracks, and then he goes to the reception thing and tosses a thing of uh, of acid over towards the front door. Okay. It takes 12 damage and probably acids and falls off its hinges forward, which should set off the turrets, since they're motion sensors, correct? Okay, um, the thing, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll cover this real quick. Okay, you have a hole burned into the eastern side of the reception um, area, which is closed yeah. off he's with just, plexiglass. He's just going to, like, poke his head out briefly and just... Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, then... you poke your head out, you toss the, uh, the, the acid vial, and since you're not, like, right next to it, I need you to make me, like, an, a ranged attack roll to make sure that oh. you hit the door itself. Don't roll a one! <laughs> it was not a one! You roll a two. Yes, I rolled a two. <laughs> Okay, so it's you don't... It's the wall instead, isn't it? Yeah, you don't hit the, the door itself. Um, let me see if you hit high or low here, or left or right. Oh, fun. Isaac, um, the you... wall melted. I better go investigate it. Immediately get shot by turrets behind the wall. <laughs> um, you actually don't hit the wall itself. You hit um, the area just in front of the door, um, which burns a nice little hole in the floor. I just had a brilliant idea. Oh no, I think I know what his idea is. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. Well, I can't do anything else this turn, so uh... <laughs> it's a good idea. It's a great idea. <laughs> it's hilarious, though. It is. Isaac. Uh, okay. Um, do uh, boop, 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 boop. Wow, dirty 20 for my stealth. Nice. Yeah, um, and I am going to move once. Um, do I... So it didn't hit anywhere like that I would notice at all. Okay, um, I am going to move my 30 feet, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to move... Is there any way I can keep, like, a building between me and these turrets and yeah. make my way around the side? Um, I mean, you could also nudge yeah. the garbage can forward and hide behind it. No. <laughs> uh, basically, what Isaac wants to do is to keep 
something between him and the church so that they don't see him so that he can potentially find an entrance that isn't protected by turrets. Okay. Um, there is a building next to it if you want to try a roundabout it. Yeah. It's up to you. Definitely. Um, so you proceeded 110 feet. You know, you're just outside of the range of these things. Mm -hmm. um, and you begin to turn, we'll say, north um, to the building next to it. Uh, and I will use my, if I can use my 30 feet for a dash, um, I will keeping out of their sight. Okay. So you make it um, almost to the, uh, the alley behind, we'll say, um, this building that you've gone across here. Not within sight directly of the building, um, the uh, utilities building. Mm-hmm. Slowly making my way towards it. Making my way downtown. Exactly. Um, Arlie. Okay, I poke my head out. And how many turrets are there in here? There are two turrets in here. I toss the acid towards the floor underneath the turrets. Okay. And now I just hope this guy has a shit luck and the turret just drops out from the ceiling in front of him. Okay, well, make me a branch attack roll. Unless he's, like, marked as friendly towards them. You rolled a one. Had to happen, right? It did. It did. Only a percentile. Uh, uh 13. Okay. Uh, make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. no. Okay, that's at least a 20. Okay. So, you are all hyped up and just jazzed out right now. Um, you take out this file and pull the plug on it, getting ready to throw it. It just it slips, man. It slips right from your fingertips. <laughs> um, it just begins to drop towards the floor. Um, you manage just enough time to step back um, as it starts to corrode the floor in front of the hole that you have already burned into the side of this... Uh, a uh, little, we'll call it a kiosk or something for the time being. Um, so that floor in front of you looks very unstable. Okay. Maxwell, like, gets on his belly and then sort of, like, inches forward and peers down at the hole. Okay. Um, it's not burned completely through. It doesn't f look to be. Um, looks like there's probably some um, structure still beneath um, between you and the basement of this building. Um, but for now. it even, it, but it creaks a little bit as you, uh, even crawl towards it. Um, okay. He'll continue to crawl forward carefully and he's just going to like put like one hand on the desk as he's crawling forward. So if it gives way, he can just like keep holding himself Okay. and he's going to try and get forward towards the hole and throw another vial of acid and hopefully not roll a one. I'm going to get one of these turrets at least. Yeah, okay. fingers crossed. Let's, um, let's. The floor does not give beneath you. Um, go ahead and make me an attack roll. Uh, this will be your last me. action for the turn. I mean, technically, the turret has to make a reflex check. A reflex check? Okay, you're attacking the turret itself then. Okay. Yeah. Well. If it can dodge. I guess a dexterity saving throw. Um, yep. Yeah, it, it doesn't make it. Takes 12 points of damage, is that right? Uh, yes, but I'm specifically attacking the floor underneath it to uh, drop it through. Gotcha, gotcha. So it doesn't go offline. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, I mean, if it gets. It'll probably get damaged, but I don't think it'll go offline. Okay. And that's the main thing, is I don't want these to go offline to set off any sort of weird alarm. <clears throat> okay, so if you're targeting the floor in front of it, I do want you to make me a attack roll. If you're attacking oh. it directly, by all means, I'll make a dexterity check, but if you're precisely trying to aim this thing at a specific point in the floor. God! Two. Two? Just, okay. Did, did I get, like, the wall this time when I'm trying to aim for the floor? We will find out. I, I want to get you a d20 that just has twos on it. <laughs> okay, um... A bunch of twos... And then, like, a single 18 and a single 20? 
Yep. And, and then also like five ones. Yep. But that's I'm okay with that. that. You managed to hit the wall behind it. Um... Ah! You at least know where I am now. Uh, I can't see the front of the building at the moment. I mean, you might hear the hiss. He's a hundred and some feet away. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, wait, I hear a slight hiss. How much memory you got left, Arla? Uh, I mean, no, not to drop I have your a... even if I'm, I have enough to like drop back into cover. Okay. Because I'm just sitting in that little plexiglass thing right now. Okay. Just slowly scuttles back on his belly while holding on to like the thick. That's why he aims so shittily. He's throwing with one hand while like leaning over the floor <laughs> that's threatening to give way. Well, you're not wrong. Um, so I'll take us to uh, Isaac. Uh, 17 for my hide. Nice. Uh, and then I will continue making my way towards the building, attempting okay. to stay out of si direct line of sight. Okay. So you've made it. See another 20 feet closer. 10 feet around the building. 90 feet closer. I mean, okay. The bright side is she'll eventually find Maxwell's point of entry. Eventually, I'll find <laughs> one of them. Yes. Um. Isaac, it looks like you're coming towards the back of the building itself. Eh. Um, what's your passive perception? Um, 17. 17. Um, you instantly see that there are more turrets on the back of the building. Okay. Um, so I'll give you a chance to react to that situation. Um, I will duck back. Because you're definitely within the range of these things. Yeah. Immediately okay. duck back behind okay. uh, the building. Excellent. You have a smexy passive perception, man. I have a plus seven for my perception. It's great. Okay, so we've got two players that are pinned down, sort of, currently. Um, That's right. There was. I don't know that there's an explosion. Dang it. No idea. Okay. Um, I guess that will bring us to Arlie again. Okay, one of these has to work. Eventually... I'm in the back. He's throwing towards the front. This is fantastic. Okay, 12. 12 towards the ground. Okay. That will that will work. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to hit the ground. <laughs> Dang. It's like what it says, like, you know, it's not hard to do. I it just... It's not. <laughs> it's just I rolled so terribly so often while I'm yep. on my belly. I like it to, like, try to, like, throw, like, a piece of trash into a trash can, you know, and... <laughs> you can be three feet away and still miss. Just yep. it happens, you know. Um, or you can be across the room and just swish. Okay, so like from behind even. Okay, and not so we get the ground. Okay, uh, the the ground before it uh, gives away a little bit, and you see the turret just slightly sink <laughs> forward. Um, I'll this... take it. <laughs> That basically disables it. So, time to do the other one. Actually, uh, they're both facing towards the door, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do the other one. 13! Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a similar effect on the other one. Um not okay. disabled per se, but it might have a harder time aiming at you um, with its limited uh, range. Yeah, with its limited range, would it actually be able to easily attack the door or anything? Like, do I feel like it would still fire off wildly, or like, how does its swivelly pivoty thing look? Is it um, like a axis, or is it like able to freely? Um, what you can tell, it's it's sort of it's on its own axis, going this way and this way. And the gun itself is on its own axis up and down. Um, so it's sort of tilted off to the side. It might have a harder time aiming. Um, I'm probably going to give it a disadvantage to attack, but it still can target. Okay. So, yeah, I, I know what I'm doing for my next turn. Dropping these fuckers for the rest of the way! Alright. Um. Uh, teamwork. 
Yeah. We're bad at it. <laughs> it makes the it makes the dream work. Um, how many turrets are there that I see? There are two turrets at the back of the building. Okay. Seems one's closer to you and one's farther down the building. Uh, you, how many feet away am I? You are roughly ninety feet away from the building itself. You didn't see gunfire. You don't see a dead ghoul anywhere. So I, I mean... didn't, but Isaac is... It's getting... Isaac's begin to being worried about the fact that it is... Take Like, this is taking longer than he would have hoped. Uh, can I get ten feet closer without triggering them? Um, you know that if you uh, move from where you're hiding currently, that you will be within range of them. Um, uh, you could potentially try to hide and maybe get off their sensors. Do I see, um, like taking a quick peek around mm -hmm. um, the corner, do I see if anywhere um, in within like my move distance that I could go to hide? Um, let's see here. I'll give you a chance. Um, yeah, it looks like there is a old dumpster. Um, okay, and it's on your side of the uh, of the sh the alley. So before you would get to the other building, there's something okay. to hide behind. Um, it's about thirty feet away from you right now. Sweet. And will that put me within eighty feet of them? Absolutely, put you about sixty feet away. Perfect. Actually, sixty feet away. Let me just check one more thing because <laughs> technology. Okay, uh, I'm going to. Um, run over to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take out my hunting rifle and I'm going to take a shot at one of them. Okay. Uh, and that is going to be a 21 to hit. <laughs> that will definitely hit. Okay. Um, and that will be uh, 11 points of damage. Nice. Or 12 points of damage. Very nice. Um, and then I'm going to hide. Okay. Uh, and that is going to be a 21. 21 to hide. Okay. Excellent. So you uh, peer off from behind this dumpster, take a nice shot into it, and see a spray of sparks. Um, and this thing instantly turns in your direction. Um, I'm not sure if it's seen you yet, but... One can only hope. Arlie. I, I take it I heard a gunshot somewhere. Uh, give me a perception, just in case. <laughs> just in case you are deaf. Just in case I'm deaf and dumb. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> it, it is. What was that? Very possible. 16? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Yo, yeah. You heard a shot. <laughs> like, relative to me? Um, with a 16, I would say you feel it might be off to the west. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and acid the damaged floor around the two turrets, just to finish them off and drop them into the basement. Okay. Uh, that is 16. Four. And that is a 13. Okay. Um, you've managed to knock them over at this point. Um, seems the floor is a little bit more reinforced. Um, you're going to guess because there's probably a power grid beneath it and there was a good uh, portion of uh, insulation between the two floors. Fair. Um, but they are on their sides. Um, they currently don't have any um, horizontal movement. Um, so basically, if you don't step in front of them, you should be fine. Should be. This is a... Uh, what is it called? A... moment it's reception area right are yes. there like side couches for the reception or is there like uh for the reception area itself it's <laughs> mostly couch so yeah much? there's couches i don't know um it's like a, a line of like plastic seats benches um i was just gonna like flip a couch over on top of them uh, <laughs> <laughs> and they just like casually walk over and open the doors um, I mean, I guess as, as like, 
I've, I've used both my actions. So... Oh... Do I think I'm fast enough that if I ran between them, I could, like, get by and they just riddle each other with bullets? Possibly. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. I'm down with this. <laughs> I'd say he was a good man, but, well, okay. you know. Maxwell. <laughs> Where are you headed to? The front door? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just gonna fucking... Because they don't have horizontal movement, so as long as he passes in front of them, and they're now both on their sides and etc. So I'm just gonna pass between, effectively trigger them, and they don't have the movement to really... They shouldn't have the movement to follow me, correct? Right. So, yeah, yeah. And I just, like, full tilt, use that 120 feet of movement to just zip through. Okay. Let's see here. 120 feet. That's a long Science. way. Science. Okay, so you, uh, you're to the door. Um, you have not been caught by the sensors. You're too quick for them. Um, now what? Creep? creek the door do i see any wait before i creak are there any explosives on the door give me an investigation check <laughs> he says ready to roll the damage <laughs> i mean i gave him I... a chance just to make sure you know <laughs> uh 17 17 um you do see um what appears to be some sort of um explosive <laughs> device um that is just above the doorway itself motherfucker um, yeah, he's maxed it's on the, the front, front door. It is the front door, but I mean, it, it, the turrets are there. Whatever, Maxwell like runs backwards and just like folds his arms out. He's just like sitting like on one of the chairs now because the turrets can't even see him. He's just like, <laughs> you could attempt to disarm it. I could, but I'd have to wait for another action. True. And I have a great idea that's better than disarming it. You always have more ideas. Oh no! You always have more See, ideas. The thing is, you get yourself into shit trouble, and then you like mm -hmm. have to figure out a way to get out of it. I have a great idea. Yeah. Now I just need a great idea to get myself <laughs> out of my great idea. idea. <laughs> okay, so that will bring us back to uh, Adam. I, I'm going to uh, take a shot at the one I had shot before. Just pop out, boom. Uh, that is going to be a 18 to hit. See that will hit. And that is going to be 10 points of damage. Okay. Um, you lay another shot into this thing, and uh, you see a shower of sparks and flame um, as it sort of shudders to a halt. And back hiding. That's a natural 20. So I'd, I need to roll a natural 20 on my perception to see you. Uh-huh. I believe in you. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got like a seven. Um, <laughs> I guess that will bring it shoots us. Shoots a mouse off in a different corner of the field. Yeah. <laughs> oh hey, look, <laughs> rocks. <laughs> Harley. Uh, okay, so Maxwell gets up, pulls out one red vial, a second red vial, winds back, then sort of like creeps back towards the desk of it and starts, like, sinking halfway through. And then he just hucks them, grabs the desk, and pulls himself under. Uh, these are fire ones. They are a five-foot radius explosion that does 1d6 fire. He's setting off the explosive with more explosives because he's figuring if it sounds like a big enough boom, the guy's gonna assume nothing survived that. Okay. And it will also probably alert Isaac to the fact of there's people here and might trash the two turrets. Unless I roll another one. I mean... That is possible. Uh, they, hey, look, that mouse over in the field just got shot. They have to pass dexterity saving throws, those mobile turrets, to dodge this. <laughs> Something else <laughs> might happen. 22, 25, 34. I mean, what could get, like, a nat 20 and, I guess, like, plink itself out of its hole? <laughs> okay, um... Uh, so there is a large explosion of fire and flame, um, not just from your little tossing things, but um, as the bomb itself ex uh, just sort of explodes the door out itself, um, 
the what's left of the turrets is just smoldering, um, a heap of junk. Um, of course, the front is wide open now. <laughs> yeah. Um, All according to plan. You sort of peek up behind your desk, seeing these large chunks of wood and metal embedded in it. Um, one dangerously close glad. to where it probably would have impacted your face if it had done more. If much. I hadn't pulled under the desk. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. I did that very purposefully. You have destroyed the two turrets in this room. And Sweet. blown the front door open. And probably made this guy think I'm very dead. Potentially. He definitely knows you all are here. He definitely knows they're here, but he definitely just heard a huge ex two explosions go off. He's like, these guys are like the least subtle idiots ever. I mean, he's not wrong. Technically, I ninjaed my way in there pretty far, and then I fucked up. And We're up. not subtle, though. I, I was for a bit. Not at all. No. My wisdom, my wisdom held up for a bit. I was a great ninja. <laughs> Minecraft ninja. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Isaac, you Here do her. hear a massive explosion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that? Um, great. Great. I think Maxwell is dead. <laughs> Given his history, that's probably not inaccurate. <laughs> I'm like... Oh, shit. I mean, it didn't sound like the church going up. <laughs> no, Shut up, dead Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to take a shot at the remaining turret. Okay. Uh, and that is going to miss, most likely. Um, with a 10. Yes, I will definitely miss. Okay. Um, but I'm going to hide uh, with a 17. Okay. Oh, Lord, it actually did see you. Um, you have <laughs> probably full cover. It's going to be a hard chance to hit you, though. Um, let's see. 17 on the die. I figure with your uh, armor and your cover, it's probably going to be what? 17 is my AC without cover. So. 17 without cover? Yeah, so it's, yeah. Not, it's not going to hit you. Yeah. So you just see this. Just, as, uh, you duck your head behind the... Uh, uh, what the hell I called it? The dumpster. Dumpster. Just and like... You now peek through the dumpster because there's a little eye hole. So you just hear oh, the wait, tinging no. of uh, metal rendering metal apart. <laughs> this is dumb. Okay, Arlie. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to go and shuffle my ass. I, I'm like, you know, I've made a big thing. Isaac's here. There's gunshots going on in the background. I'm like, he's busy. He'll he'll come around, hopefully, and. Maxwell goes back inside, sort of marches to the break room. Acid vial, acid vial. Pokes his head around and just hucks them both at the turret there. Cause, you know, a bunch of turrets have gone down. If we. And there's more apparently being a gunfight. So he figures if he tosses out a turret post haste, it's not abnormal. So it needs to make a reflex t check twice or take 24 damage. <sighs> Oh, natural 20 on the first one. Wait, actually? It just hops to the side. <laughs> it, it just faces when it's kind of went... It, 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 it spins... It knocks it. And, yeah, it spins and the barrel just like... <laughs> um, and it fails at the second one, so... It takes 12 yeah. points of damage. And Maxwell just like, back behind the door, waiting. The door is my high check. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that will be your turn. That brings us back to Mr. Isaac Blackwell. I, I, I love my alchemy. So I'm literally just picturing Maxwell's like backpack is just full of gunk. That's why he has so much of it. 19 to hit. That will hit. I believe in you. Um, that will be five points of damage. Ouch. I believe in you still, because it probably won't see you when you hide. Rolled and a one. bonus action to hide. Mm -hmm. 14. Okay. 
I swear to God, like, hiding is one of the memes of this game, other than me dying by being the best worst tank. Yep. You die, I hide. <laughs> okay, um, it did see you, but it's going to miss. I roll a 12 total. So again, the side of the dumpster is riddled with more bullets. Can't hit you guys. Uh, Arlie. We do have, like, walls between us, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Peek around. Acid. One, for now, to see if it dies. Because if it just dies from, like, another 12 damage, I don't need to throw another one at it. I <laughs> saved. <laughs> <laughs> It spins God, back. I rolled a natural 19. So. <laughs> okay, I, he throws another fucking acid at it. You're not good at throwing these things, apparently. It okay. just swivels, so there's two holes adjacent yeah. to it. Yeah. Swivels and knocks it to the it other was, side now. It was probably following the first one that missed it. So it's looking down, and that just happens to miss the second time. And it looks back up in the direction of you moving and gets hit. Um, so it takes another... 12 points of damage, you said? Yep. Okay. And that and will be Max... enough to melt it. Oh, thank God. Maxwell looks up in case there's... Oh, no, there won't be an explosive beside the wall. So he steps out. <laughs> and... <laughs> no, there's not explosive behind the wall. Claymore. There's, a claymore. <laughs> <laughs> there's a spike pit trap. <laughs> uh, if I had enough time to have a base... Um, because we had a base. Ah, weeps. Yeah, steps out of the hallway and he starts very carefully walking towards the ba the the door to the basement. And he's like looking above the door in case explosives. Okay. So, but he's not entering the door yet. He's just gonna spend his turn, sort of. He's just gonna like, it's finished melting. He just steps out. Skitters over. I guess skittering would be a good adjective for how fast he's moving. It, that would be he, accurate. Like, sits down and just stares at the door for a second like, mm -hmm. This is obviously going to be a trap too, because everything is a trap. I mean, never know. No! Okay, um, well you're out of actions for the turn, so we'll drop it back to Adam. Hey! Boom! Uh, that will hit. Uh, and that is going to be 10 points of damage. Okay, it's still up. And hidey, hide, hide. Uh, 16. Okay, does not see you this time. I I'm excited to see if you actually find my path, because if you follow it, it's full of turrets. Hard. <laughs> You're like... Oh, right. Um, hmm. So it's like door. Is there any bit of wall inside the door? Um... There is a little bit. It's um, it'd be like there was a corner that's got brick going around it, and there's a door there, uh, and the steps go down. You just sort of. Okay, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I want <clears throat> to make a science check to try and fucking. Uh, I'm going to carefully try and acid this door out. So. Okay gonna find the ideal way to go and ask this so I can basically then step back and just have it fall through and set off whatever trap is there. It comes because there's going to be a you. fucking <laughs> just flies back. I think the best thing would be to whip both my acid things at it immediately. If that's how you feel. I don't want to tell you how to feel. I rolled a one on my science. <sighs> I feel like the best scientific th actually no, I feel the best scientific thing is to throw two of the explosive vials. Yeah. I I'm just like I step away from the door. I, I, so I'm, I, not yep. in, so I'm not in front of it. Just like at the nice little cafeteria entrance and I throw the two explosives at the door. Okay. And, then... and I step into the door of the waiting of the break room and just sort of plug my ears. <laughs> okay. Um these just do fire damage or Yep, they're fire. Okay. Um, so there's a couple bangs go off. Um, you... There's not a huge explosion. It's not a huge explosion. Um, and these doors are sort of built for this purpose. So 
Uh, there's some markings on them, a little bit of indentation, denting into it, but nothing goes off. Okay, maybe the acid might be more scientific than the fire. Definitely didn't. Goes back, goes back in front and sits down and stares. Gosh. The nat one on the science. All right, so that will bring us to Isaac, unless you have anything else to do. I do not. Okay. He's there staring like an idiot. I... I mean, I Natural 20. Okay. You should roll really right. low. Um, double dice, double damage. Yep. Um, double damage. Okay, cool. Um, so that will be 16 points. Okay. You uh, unleash one last uh, bolt into this thing, and uh, it explodes off the side of the building. Um, your back alleyway is open. Um, I do not see any rear service entrance to the building itself, but... Has he passed the window I made or not? No, he came around to the completely different side. Oh. Are there are there any... So there's no, like, back door no back on this door wall? No on this side, you see. Is there any windows? Uh, there are two windows. I, um, Isaac will begin making his way towards it, because he only has 30 feet of movement and it's 60 feet away. Um, so I'm going to move forward, and then I'm going to hide uh, 12 for my stealth. Excellent. Uh, and, yeah. Okay, Isaac, you begin to move towards the building. Um, you look off down to the south, um, which had been the uh, western side of this building. Um, you do see a couple more turrets, but you just move right past them without uh, even setting them off. Um, if uh, Maxwell came to the building, he didn't come this side of it. Mm -hmm. So you guys basically circumvented every wall that didn't meet each other. Um, We're the best! <laughs> okay, so that's going to be the end of your turn. That will bring us back to early... I science it with acid this time. Okay. I'm going to see if I, I can actually... it with acid. You know, actually, no, it's probably fire. It's probably fire that's the solution. I mean, you <laughs> did just try that. Yeah. I also just rolled another nat one. I also just rolled another nat one. I mean, you have some agency of your character's decisions. So. Yeah. I mean, yes, okay. He fucking... You just can't determine what would be the best placement for it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, does the brick wall look more damaged than... You know what? I'm just going to ash the brick wall instead of the door. Okay. Fuck that. And then I'm going to dive back into the break room, because turret. I'm expecting a turret behind one of these doors, because there's turrets everywhere. There are turrets everywhere. I mean, obviously, he, he's been setting this up for a while, because there's a lot of turrets here. Yes, there is. Um... Okay, so you hear the sizzle of stone as you duck back into the cafeteria. So, and, yeah, just sort of whistle. Okay. Chug brown stuff. Wait uh, for Isaac to save the day. Okay, Isaac. Uh, I will, con I will uh, close the final distance mm -hmm. to the uh, window, mm -hmm. and I will look inside. Okay, um, let's see, what do you see inside? Um... Directly, almost almost directly across from you, you do see a doorway. Um, looks to kind of that. Uh, I hate saying like if it's like a you're you work in retail. Um, you I know do. the doors to the, the stock room are usually just mm -hmm. push doors. That's what it looks, kind of looks like. Um, you see that sort of door, um, and you see a hallway running not east to west. Hey. Um... I would like to... Can I check, like, the window to make sure that there's nothing, like, trapped about it? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, that explosion. is... I should make sure there's not traps. Um, that is going to be a dirty 20. Okay. Uh, you do not see anything currently on this door that would uh, give way that it's trapped. Okay. Um... Would I be able to open it as well this turn? Yeah, so you'd be able to. You don't really use any actions. Okay. So looking around. I will, 
I'll open it up. Okay. You slide the window open. And that is all I can do because I used my movement to get here. Okay. Are oh, wait! Wait! Oh. Hide. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a 19. Okay. You hide. <laughs> it's just... Whoop. Well, it'd be uh, so great if, like, there was actually some patrolling by who, like, oh, you, you, like, open the window, they walk by, and you're just, like, immediately under the window still. <laughs> yeah. Arthur, it's back to you. Okay, um, I'm gonna poke my head out into the hallway, okay. halfway, in case there's a turret. I take it the brick wall is still mostly up? Uh, mostly, yes. It's rather thick. Um, you do see okay. a open window now, though. What? Where? Um, on the, along the northern wall. <laughs> throw acid at the wall! I'm gonna throw <laughs> acid at the wall? Where the at window's the at? Yeah, because he's just like, uh, the fuck? Okay. So, um, there's a nice hissing sound as, uh, I'm, I'm gonna assume it's probably some sort of acrid smoke starts to pour forth, um, a little bit running out the window itself. Um, and, and then he aims the shotgun at, like, the hole that's forming in, and it's like... And you see me. Potentially. Hidden pretty well. Oh, I see you! <laughs> That's right, I'm... There's nothing there! <laughs> I'm nothing really there. stealthy. There is nothing there. I rolled a 10. <laughs> he just like, he's like... Shh. Okay, so, what are you doing for your action? Are you holding your action? What are you doing? I guess you, I guess... Again towards the brick wall. Okay. And then I'm just gonna wait now, like, peeking around the hall. Switching between, like, in, back in the break room, looking between the open window and the door that's melting. And I'm hoping that at least I can melt enough that I can just, like, push the door open eventually. Because if it can't properly hinge into the wall anymore, that's that's also a win. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so, Isaac, um, you see part of the, uh, the wall um, just to the right of you beginning to uh, slowly collapse in on itself. Um... Would you want to your turn? Isaac's just like Maxwell. <laughs> um, Isaac. And uh, he's. I'm going to pull out uh, my uh, 357, and just like take a peek around the corner to see if it is Maxwell. He's not hiding, so he's like peeking, literally, mm -hmm. like a gremlin. Um, he with his horrible, like, chode face. He's peeking out and shaking like a chihuahua right now at you, so... Oh god, that is terrifying. <laughs> um... <laughs> and I was just gonna, like, wave. <laughs> he, he get... you know, he just lifts his hand up and it waves on its own. <laughs> um, and I am going to, um through the hole slash window um, and I'm going to take a look in the room I'm in the ha this is this is the hallway I'm in correct okay okay um, and I am going to give Maxwell a kind of confused look after seeing the door um, and I'm gonna go and take a look at the door okay I just want to like look it up and down and see I want to do like Isaac doesn't know what all Maxwell has done with it so he just wants like Check for traps, okay. quick. A lot of the doors have been trapped. So There's I been explosions, I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> One yeah. of them? Um. Yes. I didn't hear anything else. Two of the doors yeah, were trapped. Yeah, there was only one, that's all. <laughs> uh, 21. Okay. I defused the other. Um, there is no traps on the door. Eh. Um, it seems there is some sort of uh, crude alarm system that's attached to it. Um, you're going to guess from the older days when an emergency exit has been pushed open, it would sound an alarm. Um, not quite sure if it's operational still, but... Could I attempt to disarm it? Yeah, yeah, yeah you could probably try to do that. Okay. Can I assist? Sure. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, 24. Okay. 
Uh, between the two of you, you have no issues uh, making sure that even if this doesn't work, at least it's not going to work again. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's all you find for that. Um, so you're standing before a door that's been pretty heavily banged up. Um, a couple explosions, but... And it's got a uh, couple burn holes in the side of the wall of the structure. <laughs> Was this from you? The burn holes. Um, no, like in the in the wall, like the acid. Um, totally denying the rest. Uh, incidentally, I'm going to apply acid near the doors now. So at why? the very least. So here's the thing: if I acid the door right now, right? Uh huh. If if it normally, I, I just bear with me here. I'm bearing. We're going to have a mobile shield in case there's a bajillion turrets behind it. There were oh, so many okay, turrets we're, near to the take front. it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't trying to yeah. like fuse it shut. That's all no, I wanted to do. No, I'm. I'm. We're taking it with us. Okay, you can take it with you. It's a heavy metal door. It, very emphasis on heavy. heavy. It's heavy. fine. We'll push it down the stairs. Look. Look, 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 and I acid it. <laughs> and then I body check the door. <clears throat> okay, so right. I'm, I'm going to assume that you're probably going to be attacking the hinges of the door itself. Yeah. Um, doesn't take long to burn through them. Uh, and you body check the door? It, he pulls the doorknob and then just body checks it. Okay. Um, gosh, good. And then me... I'm going to. Oh, God. An athletics check? Oh god! Roll to check door. Uh, Give I me mean, a check check. I could have, I could have gotten worse. Oh god, he got, got another seven. two. Seven. No, no, no! I got a seven. Okay. okay. Um, total, the um, seven total. You do manage to uh, push the door in. Um, unfortunately, you push it too far in, and it goes clanging down the steps. Okay. Um, and See, Max that's what I was worried can... about. See, Maxwell's also really dedicated to having this as a portable shield, so he doesn't Well, it's even, downstairs like, now. No, he doesn't let go of the knob when he checks, so it goes clanging down, and he's, like, riding down on the side of it right now as it, like, sails down the stairs. Is he? Yep. Let's he really wanted dexterity. that door. Let's have a... Uh, uh, let's see. We'll do a dexterity acrobatics check for this one. I mean, dexterity works. I'm okay with dexterity. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I rolled a three twice. Okay. Um, you consciously oh, yeah. said that you were holding on to this. Um, oh, yeah. He was committed. He wanted this door. He, like, checked. He was, like, going with it to try and carry on to it, so he held on with, like, a death grip to try and yeah. carry it. Yeah. And he just effectively rides down with it like an idiot. Okay, um... One last roll. Um, let's make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's at least an 18. An 18. Excellent. Um, so you're only going to take half damage from this. Oh, um, yeah. Um, you end up taking uh, four uh, bludgeoning damage as you try to ride this door down. Um, are you dead now? <laughs> its momentum is... <laughs> enough to carry you a little faster than you anticipated and uh you end up turning head over heels into uh the wall below um as the uh the staircase like... begins to serpentine around and the door banging the wall with a heavy thud that just shakes i just like pancake there for a second like Bleh. and then it accordions down the other way and just keeps going uh. isaac's gonna walk down there just be like, okay, we're not going to do that again? <laughs> this is what I was worried about. We need to try... <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderfully timed. 
Um, you know, we, he, is, I didn't attack him at all. He's done no, all this to himself. He's, everything. Every bit of it. <laughs> um, we need to try and at least be a little bit stealthy. I know that the Overseer probably already knows we're here, but that doesn't mean he knows that how close oh, we are. Not? No, no, none <laughs> of that. No. Ah, oh, yep. He, he just, like, hold that thought, and he goes to scout to the bottom like, of the Like, as soon as he says, hold that up. thought, Isaac grabs him. Okay. Are you going to allow him to grab you? Oh, no, he's totally not gonna... Okay. So... Roll, my friendo. Okay, so we're gonna have opposed checks here. Um... Reflex? Bring up the grapple rules, because I always forget these for some reason. Strength? I never I... remember grapple rules, either. I don't remember. Either, okay. I, never... I think it's an attack roll, though. So we have um, strength athletics check contested by the target, strength athletics check, or dexterity check. Mm. Well, taking that next check. So that's Probably 19. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, and he just immediately goes right in again. Yep. Yep, and then gets grabbed. Okay. okay. Stop. <laughs> it's really hard to stop right now. And I, I know. No, I shut up. Could... Shut up. We need to do this carefully. Please. I don't want us to die. But you also drove us towards an area with an active nuclear <laughs> weapon. I mean, saying yes. you don't want to die. We could have driven the other direction a long time ago. I don't want other people to die, too. They're not mutually exclusive. Now let's go, and we need to be careful. Okay? We're going to stick together so that we don't end up getting separated and picked off one by one. You lead the way. Okay. And then uh. he pulls out his shotgun. <laughs> he now has his... You're just like, oh god, he's twitching, has the shotgun behind you. Um, Isaac is going to pull out his... Or still has his pistol out. Uh, and for his bonus action, he is going to hide. Uh, he got a 17. Excellent. Uh, and he is going to begin sneaking his way down the staircase. Okay. Um, I lose sight of Isaac. With a roll of two, I lose sight of Isaac. I, I am literally in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> An enclosed area that's this <laughs> wide. Um, okay, so uh, it doesn't take you long to get down the steps. Um, it's not a long journey down to the second floor or the basement floor. Um, again, you're greeted with a uh, similar structure of the, uh, the brick and the masonry. Um, another heavy metal door in front of you. Um, if you want to take a look out of the small fraction of glass that encases this door, you may. Um, I'm going to check the door first for traps. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a 17. Okay, 17. Um, you don't see any on the interior, but you have a very sneaking suspicion on the exterior. There's definitely some sort of device that might go off if you uh, push the door open. Oh, solution. We're gonna look through the window first. Oh no 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 no! See, no we, no, we, no. And and then we just step away, and it goes. I want to look through the window first, just to make sure what's on the other side. Okay, you do, you do you. Okay. I'm gonna look through the window. All right, taking a look down through the window. Um, does not take you long to see. A, there is a long hallway heading um to the uh to the east of you. Um, seems to curve off to the south about. 30 feet down, um, and you do see what seems to be a dome turret pointed, just sort of swinging back and forth between the hallway. Question. Are there any vents? Um, in the structure you're in right now? Hmm. Or just down the hallway itself? I mean, either. Um, the hallway, it looks like there are vents, yes. Um, are we going to die hard this? I, that was actually the thought I had briefly, was we can do, like, a loud entrance and then die hard it, and he goes, what the fuck? 
I mean, it is one of my favorite Christmas movies, so. I mean, it is the best Christmas movie. No, that's Muppets Christmas other, Carol. Other than Groundhog Day, too? Because Groundhog Day is a Christmas movie, right? No, that's a Groundhog's Day movie. Oh, right. <laughs> I, it, it happens when it's no Christmas movie. I'll watch it then. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Like the obvious, and then it you know, right over. You know, you don't often get that opportunity, and I'm really happy that I got that. I it. I'm sorry, Arlie. It's fine. I deserve. It. That was hilarious, though. Okay, so. Oh, oh um, that was good. Like, is there like a crook underneath, like this? You know how like stairwells go down, and there's like the the things yeah. underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The place where Harry yeah. Potter lives. I Isaac goes, or sorry, Maxwell goes over to the door where the hinges are, and turns around, and goes to stick his foot into Isaac's stomach and essentially kick him under the nook where it's safe, and then acid to the hinges and he's gonna just book it up the stairs because when the door falls through it will set off the explosive which puts him in cover because underneath the stair there'll be all the sterile and everything and i'm just booking it i am just booking it when he tries to kick me i'm gonna try and grab him that's a problem because he's still actually putting the acid on the hinges okay Uh... like (laughs) grab grab acid hand and leg Okay, are we making rolls again? Yeah. yeah. Because, because this is literally what Isaac just told you not to do. By the way, nat 20. Um, I got uh, 11. Okay. Um, why don't you give me an attack roll against Isaac? Stephanie, you're trying uh... to kick him. And I'm assuming not Wait. just casually, since you're trying to force him to uh, the back of the Well, floor. I mean, that's not working, but I'm not stopping the rest of the plan. Okay. Uh, so in total, that is a wonderful seven. Okay. Yeah, no. So you're just like, no. I'm trying to grab him, but it's like grabbing onto a noodle right now. Okay. Um, a very so... hyperactive noodle. And then just acid on one hinge, acid on another hinge, and he books it. While it starts to go like... Let's see how am I going to determine this? Um, okay. Um He was committed, man. Yeah, um so you missed the the missed the kick, so um Isaac you sort of sidestepped that and tried to grab a hold of uh Maxwell. Um he just sort of turns in his wild state, um, lobbing a vial of acid at the door. Um I'm gonna give you guys both a reaction. Um I know Maxwell's running up the steps. Um, Isaac, what is your going to be for your that is, that is. I didn't push the door. I just acided the hinges. Right, right, right. I'd give it a moment at least for us to... For the, just a split second for that acid to go through it. And I, yeah, I Isaac's booking it. Okay. Yep. Because he has no idea what's going to happen, but... Right. Okay. So this is how it plays out. Um, I know Arlie just runs the hell up those steps. He's got ridiculous movement. Um, <laughs> he probably made it to the first floor before the explosion even goes off. Um, and then peeks over the edge and, like, waves down at Isaac. Right. Um, so, Isaac, you make your way to the landing um, of the steps and begin to turn um, to finish the, the last part of the ascent. And there is a massive explosion. Um and instantly, um, there is a shaking of the walls. There is shrapnel flying in all directions and thick smoke filling the, uh, the stairwell. Um, obviously, whatever here is here obviously knows that you're going to uh, be coming down this way. Um, but I Hopefully think... Hopefully he thinks we're dead, though. But uh, we are at 10.22 this evening, and I believe that's going to be our cutoff point. So we are going to end on an explosion. Um, See, find out what the fate of Isaac is next week. Um, I'll roll up a new character. 
I'm so sorry. No, you're not. So I'm a little bit sorry. Hey, no, you're not. If it didn't do all your health, I could always use one of the various stim packs I have on you. So, ironically, we ended uh, the f uh, first part of the finale called a Big Bada Boom with a Big Bada Boom. I mean, it is rather fitting. It was very fitting. So that will be our game tonight. Um, I guess we're going to, if you guys are both available next Sunday, we'll probably finish this out next Sunday. I am definitely should be. fine. Okay. Yeah. We were, should be. If we were night owls, I would have been fine with continuing to go just because. Yeah, I have work tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, yeah. But we can talk about maybe starting a little earlier, maybe next Sunday. Yeah. Just, okay just, just in case it runs over a little bit. Um, I'm I'm Coolio. Cool. So we'll see it out to its finale then. Um, all right, guys. Um, thanks for coming by. Um, Isaac, uh, I don't keep going. Isaac, I'll call you Adam. I'll call you. Tom. You can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. Okay. I, what you got going I, on, man? Where you at? Hi, everybody. How's it going? Um, so uh, on Sundays you can catch me here um, playing the lovely and perhaps not no longer mild mannered Isaac. Um, even if he survives, he might potentially not resurrect um, Maxwell next time. We'll see. He's super mad. <laughs> he is. He is <laughs> probably as furious as Isaac has ever been. Um, which is saying something considering some of the things that have happened recently. Uh, he still hasn't fixed Mel, and he is heartbroken about that. Um, but uh, Mondays, it is... Um, I'm not on a stream, I am playing IRL game of, um, we just finished up Dragon Heist, it was fantastic, it ended with, like, three of our characters down, um, me just barely alive, um, and our other person mind-controlled by somebody, um, and it ended with a neutral ending. It was great, it was fantastic, like, it was wonderfully done, like, it was the best ending, I think, for like our group, because we didn't get too we didn't get like too good of an ending, but like, literally, my character's biggest gripe about it was that he didn't learn how to contact a different demon than the one he was already worshiping. <laughs> That's it, like, and he's. I spent the entire end of or the entire session basically going yes, because I'm not evil. Whenever anybody would say something, because I'm not, my character isn't evil, but he totally worships the devil. And he's totally cool with it, and, like, he wanted this evil thing. Um, he's like, well, that's what I would do. Not that I'm evil. <laughs> it was wonderful, like, we had a, like, neutral good fighter with us who was basically like, I'm questioning my life choices being in a group with you people. Um... And half of them going like, you're not really making a good case for yourself. It's like, yes, but I'm being helpful. <laughs> um, so it was fantastic. Uh, we're about to start uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage, or whatever it's called, yeah. um, next week, um, which is going to be ridiculous. I'm super excited about it. Uh, Tuesdays is alternating between uh, Supernatural, which may be this week, but I don't think so because it's New Year's Day. I need to talk to people. Um, that's not stream, but our other game, which is Starfinder, is I play a stupid, sexy, shirtless uh, space damn fear. It's wonderful. Um, I blew up a entire like squad of policemen with a missile launcher um, because that's what you do in Pathfinder in space. Maxwell approves. It was great. Like I was talking to them, and I was like, at the moment he realized that it wasn't going to work out, he's just like pulls out the rocket launcher that he just took from a dude and shoots them. Um, Wednesday alternates between All Out of Bubblegum, a really cool and fun um, quick improv game that I stream over on Thread Raiders, and then uh, Hyardal, which we are playing this week, I think? I forget what weeks are. Uh, Thursday is Curse of Strahd, which is going to be fun. Um... We make tons of puns with our lovely uh, stream titles, and I believe we are doing uh, Trees 2, The Root of the Problem. Wow. Um, it's great. Like, we just have been, like, we have not let go of this tree pun line of titles. It's wonderful. Um, but it's fantastic. It's a lovely group of people, um, and our DM is 
really good. Um, I am lucky in that like all of my DMs DM differently, so I get like very cool different approaches. It's awesome. Uh, but that one is over on my Twitch channel, and then Fridays is Threads of Fate, which I think we are playing this week. Um, we haven't been playing recently because I have been a mess or sick, um, as everybody else has. Like, half mm. of our group has been out for some reason, and it's the holidays, so we might be getting back this week. Uh, and then Saturday is nothing for the moment, but maybe something coming up in the future, because I apparently can't not game every day. <laughs> um but yeah no i'm somewhere most days um it's fun it's great um i like having like eight different campaigns i slightly envy you in that regard it's 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 really cool and like my I, i need to start playing like dumb characters so i don't have to worry about remembering things Oh, it's it's even better when you play a smart character and then you actually misremember things and you're like, no, 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 I'm obviously right because I'm smart. And but I'm see, infallible. I would convince people that I was actually right. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. That's half the fun. Uh, but yeah, that's me for the moment. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Harley? One quick question. For the bubble game, gum game, are you a player in that or are you hosting that? I what? run it. Mm-hmm. Um, if you ever have guests. Oh, I will. We will. We will. Um, you guys are both on the guest list. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, it's fun. Um, we actually had uh, our first session. We had a guest on. Joy was in. Um, mm-hmm. Joy is a wonderful person. You should go follow her. Dire Foxicorn on Twitter. Um, she has been like my first guest on everything that I do, which is hilarious because it just ends up being that way. Um, but she ended up rolling up, um, using like the, uh, charts we have, she ended up rolling up a red panda. So in like a normal human person world, she was just a red panda, um, who could talk and such and eventually got flame powers. Wait, could you technically roll up like Rocky from like Rocky and Bullwinkle? Um, I mean, if I put him on the list, yeah. That'd be sort of epic. I have, um, like, some of the examples are an actual freaking dinosaur, um, an actual freaking dinosaur in a terrible human suit, um, an actual freaking bear, uh, the evil ghost of Benjamin Franklin. Um, I have a lovely list of, I have, like, 50 different characters that whenever, for both the villain and if a guest ever comes in, like, the guest gets to be on that, from that list, too. So, it's, you know, that way you can have, like, guests end up being the villain in future episodes. Few villains end up being guests in future episodes. It's fun. That play, like, a squid billy or something. That would be perfect. I do, one of the options is a teenage eldritch horror. So. Wow. So just throw a trucker hat on and I'm good to go. Yep. Me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of, like, uh, I don't know if anyone else reads Atomic Robo, but Dr. Dinosaur from it. Cause I started reading it? It's so good, and Dr. Dinosaur is amazing. And <laughs> that That's all you need to know is it's a fucking, like, velociraptor wearing a rab co- lab coat sometimes, or just wielding SMGs, among other things, named Dr. Dinosaur, and, you know. Anyways... So, for those on the know, I'm Arlen, a uh, harbinger of chaos, madness, and two. Lots and two. of twos. Lots of twos. Uh, on Tuesdays, I'm part of a D&D Curse of Strahd campaign that is slowly culminating towards the finale, where it's become basically full-on Castlevania, and where, like, my, my character's rivalry chick who's also technically his wife from an arranged marriage not that he really wants to marry her partly because she's psychotic and marriage involves murdering <laughs> murdering mode uh yeah that didn't go so well because she one rounded me and i'm like oh technicalities and, she's and, psychotic and she's psychotic she's also gonna be like a reoccurring boss i think and she won her maybe you should just marry her I would die either way! I mean, 
Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be different after you get married. No, part of the marriage <laughs> vows was her murdering me. She was oh. very clear on that point. I mean, um, I don't. I think you're just not giving her a good chance. <laughs> also, also, Victoria, definitely the better wife. Who, Chaos Mage, who like literally banished me three times in the same game session by accident. I like her. Also, also got got Mode impaled by like a horn. That yeah, I don't know. Great, great wild mage rule. Shit happened. Um, I love wild mages. Same. Uh, but so on Wednesdays we're currently recording a Shadow of the Demon uh podcast. We'll eventually be put up. I am sorry for not having anything out there, but it is a beautiful train wreck, and if anyone loves watching how bad things go in this in this tabletop, <laughs> things get worse in that. By far. The the sheer bad luck that happens pay well, okay, it doesn't pale in comparison to the number of twos I've rolled, but the outcomes I are mean, worse. that would be impressive. The outcomes are worse though, by far. Uh our entire party wiped uh last time. <laughs> including one drowning right before getting home free they're right in a boat about to like get their way on and then they just nap one and pixie filled their pockets with rocks and drowned them nice yeah fucking pixies uh and yeah yeah virus oh yes yes we did <laughs> um yeah because virus is one of our wonderful players who got murdered and then obviously on Sundays, I'm here. And yes, we do have the best Robo Band, and I am very excited to have more Robo Bard Band adventures. Uh, other than that, though, you can find me on Twitch over at Arlian, where I stream a shit ton of indie games. Currently, I'm running Speak of Demons and bouncing between also things like Slay the Spire, Has Been Here, and the like, before I. Basically, all of my games, half the time, you, you, you might not have ever heard of them. They are that indie. Things like the Texter Sist. It's, it's like the Exorcist, but you type out Latin gibberish. What's the Exorcist bullets. first? Uh, I, I'm pretty I, sure I would get banned from Twitch for that. You get I mean, it depends on the graphic Pop. fidelity. True. I mean, you get banned for Hunipop. And I heard that's not that bad compared to a lot of things. See, the thing is that um, that has sex as, like, the main point. And, like, a, like sexual content as the main point. If I it's don't just, know. Like, I think if you exists, named it the Sextercist, though, it might just get banned off the... I mean, maybe it's about sextants. It's true. Exercising sextants? Yeah, it's about exercising sextants. You know, I'll take it. I'll accept it. You make that game. I would play that game. I'd play it with the giggle gaggles. Yep. Mm. But yeah, uh, that more or less sums up everything. I'm oh, and I'm also crossing my fingers. One day, Savrick running a paranoia game. So I'm he going to. Us horribly. I'm going to. I'm going to kill you so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you too, buddy. Yep, it's going to happen. Oh, uh, really and we can just pull a virus in here so I can be responsible accidentally <laughs> for other of his deaths. <laughs> I mean, he's just gonna be like, just collateral between me and I've Adam never and killed other. virus. Thank you very much. I mean, uh, paranoia is what looks there. You can kill everyone. I can... <laughs> will totally not murder all of you. How about you, Mr. Uh, Sabrick? Okay, yeah. um find me here obviously um twitter at saverick um see so i got saturdays we're running uh on the greyhawk channel at 12 p.m um temple of elemental evil uh it's been an interesting time um i ran them through a holiday episode last time where they had to fight krampus so, it was great they saved christmas yeah, it's beautiful very disturbing episode on top of it though <laughs> i was proud of that one um let's see um sundays of course we're here, um, about done with this one, so I think, um, if these guys are up to it too, I like to just, like, run some one-shots for a while. Yeah. Um, I don't have to say, I even have to be the one that DMs them. 
you know, which you guys want to step in the seat too. I don't care. Uh, definitely want to run Paranoia. Um, I've been looking at Dark Matter, which is like a 5e science fiction oh, type yes. thing. Oh, um, yes. Yes, please. I played that with Hans Chun not too long ago. It was a good time. Um, so it, it, it looks so cool. Yeah. What is Dark Matter? It's space. Like 5e Pathfinder. Uh, or Starfinder, hmm. I should say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's really cool looking yeah. from everything I've seen about it and heard about it. Yeah, I got to play it one time. Um, I was like an android fucking monk or something on it when I played it. It was strange. A gravity monk, that's what he was. was very that strange. sounds pretty dope. Yeah, he was interesting. Uh, to use the parlance of the youth these days. I just like Space Horror. intrigued. Space Horror is really great for how you can just isolate players and... Mm -hmm. Space station. God, I should play Dead Space tomorrow. You should. You should play Dead Space. God, that's such a good game. Um, let's see. The first and second one. The first one. Mm. The second one is acceptable. The third one was... What's going yeah. on, Kevin? Um, let's see what else we got going on. Um, God, I think I'm done with my one-shots for the time being, uh, playing other people's channels. I played Scraticus Academy last night, which was a fun time. Um... Let's see, we're, we're all going to be involved in a project here in the next few months that we really can't talk about, other than it's going to be Planescape. So, uh, I'm excited. Yeah, so that's going to be interesting. Um, contacted a few interesting people as well um, to be involved in it. And we will see what happens, um, but definitely uh, these two lovely gentlemen here will be involved. Where? In <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, uh, January 25th, I'll be doing Birthright 5e for a Prairie Starter um, and a group of people that he picked um, for me to run it for. Um, so that'll be interesting on top of that. Um, gosh, anything else, guys? Um, not off the top of my head? Not <clears throat> really. There's going to be a replacement to the Tuesday game since it's winding down. And... Eventually, I need to like hop into more of you guys' games. Obviously, mm -hmm. you guys are so fun to roll dice with and shenanigans with. Although I really need to play a good character sometime around you guys. I, I highly recommend them. Yeah, they're fun. Uh, too, uh, I played like, them last night. It was fun. I I I I was talking with somebody the other day, and I like I play like. Probably sixty percent like good characters, um, like twenty percent, probably about like twenty five percent neutral characters, and then like five percent evil characters. But like, I I have the same amount of enjoyment for all of them. It's just that like, usually depend. It's like especially depending on like the can the game, the other players like. I enjoy I enjoy playing a lawful evil character a lot. Um, so fun. They're great. Um, all of like half of my warlocks have been lawful evil um, because they're just like I like following like rules is kind of how I got my powers. Like you made a deal with someone, mm. um, but they're like very much self interested. Like good ninety percent of my warlocks are lawful. Um, but, you know, it's, I definitely recommend every, like, there's a lot of, like, I would never play an evil character. I'm like, you should. It's fun. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, especially, like, I like lawful and evil because they can mesh with a good party. Chaotic or, evil cannot. Which is why I never touch chaotic evil. I've, I, I, I've yeah. never played it successfully. Um, I think like it could it's not something that couldn't be played successfully it's just it would be hard it would be difficult and it would require a lot of play or cooperation with the party yeah which I don't think in a majoritarily like good party or yeah with a good party I do not think playing a chaotic evil character would really be feasible even because neutral one neutral it depends like, if you had a yeah. bunch of chaotic neutral could probably get away with it or even some lawful neutrals like as I mean, long as you neutral, follow by these rules and like if they have you like chained up and you're just the attack dog true true neutral could get away with it if like the land was more good than anything right now 
You're but, just restoring the balance. Yeah, like, everybody should sounds. play an evil character at least once. Like, even if it's just for like a one shot. One Give my, it a try. One of my favorite you know? characters ever was an evil character. So like, they're they're fun. Like I I am one of those people, even like as like a DM, where I'm like don't rule anything out like when you're when you have character a character don't be like oh i have to make this kind of character like have some fun mm -hmm. go on go on D, D beyond and hit that random button i find the most satisfying actually in majoritarily good parties because there's the thing of getting your objectives done as a character while still following within the constraints of the party without them killing you and that's a very lawful or like neutral evil to do is like to do that and to convince people you're not an evil guy even because you can like achieve greater unpleasantness and convince people you're doing stuff for like the greater good and you it might even be helping the greater good but advancing your agenda and it's that it's sort of that's the joy of lawful evil yeah even neutral evil they'll pull that off it's just they're not as rigorous about following certain Awful constraints. Maybe we should just like sit down and have a discussion one of these days on stream. I'm game. About game mechanics I'm... and theory and stuff, since we have a lot to talk about, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe invite a couple more people in um, to hear some different viewpoints. Um, we can do that yeah, for actually, Sundays. I'm Should... cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. Actually, just to respond to Virus's character, I only most of my characters currently were good for the last bunch of RPs, but I have two evil ones running. Maxwell is one. No one could have figured that one out, right? I knew. <laughs> um, and another one is Sonoa, who is a neutral evil uh, mesmerist and pathfinder, who their profession is bookie. And they're, the rest of the party is good. Like, very good. There is a cleric in this party who's like... Their, ba their, their basic talk action in most encounters gets things to attack us because they'll use, like, the language spell to be able to talk with stuff and then just go like, Henwo? And then stuff just tries to kill us right after. And I'm just like, fucking dominate monster, no. <laughs> Dominate person, go punch each other out, and I'll, you know, the victor gets to be my attack dog for the next section. Well, we've my been a shit heap. We have been talking for twenty five minutes now. Um, oh right, yeah. yeah. Bye. So um, we'll see you guys next year. Yeah, I'm gonna call this, and um, if you guys um, need any good advice, is to remember that um, Groundhog Day is a Christmas movie. So. God damn it. <laughs> You forget what week it is, I forget the holiday. We're, we're, we're even. We will see you all next week. Bye. See ya. Bye.